I'm uh, very happy to be here today and to see all of you. <laughs> so, and this is a special evening for me also because uh, after my solo recital, uh, all of you will join me and we'll play a guitar violin to it. So, for my solo recital, uh, the entire program is chosen from the 20th century uh, guitar Now. Western classical music in the 20th century is, uh, of course, it, uh, it can it, it traces back its root from uh, the great masters like Beethoven and Bach and Mozart uh, for the Western European tradition in the 17th, 18th, and 19th century. But in the 20th century, it was not confined to only Europe; uh, it was all over the world. So there are many different traditions and aesthetics. Um, so I'll try to show some of them during my recital. I'll begin with uh, two pieces by Spanish composer Joaquin Turina. Turina, well, he was a Spanish composer, but he studied in France, so he had a lot of French influence in his music, and a lot of influence of flamenco guitar. So Turina himself was not a guitarist, he was a pianist and uh, he wrote his pieces in collaboration with uh, the guitarist Andre Segovia. So I'll start with uh, Sevillana. It's written uh, in the form of a fantasy, uh, which is a very old style of music. Uh, it's basically music in free form. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. So that was the first piece, uh, Sevillana. Now I'm going to play another piece by uh, the same composer. It's called uh, Fandangio or uh, Little Fandango. So uh, it's uh, basically uh, a flamenco dance, sometimes accompanied uh, by singers as well. Uh, in this piece, we hear a lot of uh, uh, well, a technique of tambora, where we, you kick the guitar and get percussive sound, because uh, the composer wanted to imitate the uh, tap dancers.
very much. So, uh, that is uh, two Spanish dancers, uh, Serviana and uh, Pangalio. Now, I'm going to play uh, music by a uh, composer uh, of a different uh, character, I would say. He's a living composer and uh, one of the finest guitarists uh, in his time, Leo Brower. So the first piece uh, from, from Spain, we are going to go to South America now. And uh, the first piece is uh, Danza del Altiplano. Altiplano is the, the Andean plateau uh, in Peru and Bolivia. So this piece is uh, based on the folk music of Peru. And uh, in the folk music, they use a small bamboo uh, flute, which has uh, <coughs> only five notes and some of you may know it's called the pentatonic scale and it's the most primitive scale. So the piece, uh, part of the piece is based on that pentatonic scale and also it imitates um, the Latin American guitar charango. So you'll also hear a lot of strumming, uh, that is the charango. And of course there is the, the folk song, uh, the melody also you hear.
The next piece um, is uh, by the same composer. It's an etude, a study. Um, so we have all composed uh, a lot of studies for the guitar. This is another uh, 20 uh, based on a guitar technique. Uh, we say hammer on, put off, or dance to the garden.
Fujon was also uh, the uh, student of uh, the great Francisco Tarega. And uh, this Chamorro study is uh, composed based on the theme by Tarega. <coughs>
Hello again. So welcome, Pandu. Uh, we have started this project. Uh, it's been uh, by a few months, but uh, this is our first public performance. We're going to start with uh, uh, Minuet and Trio uh, by the guitarist composer Julian, Mauro Julian. He was a friend of Beethoven and he was a great virtuoso on guitar. And sometimes Beethoven used to be called Julian of piano. So he was really famous at the time.
tango music uh, at the beginning of the 20th century. Now, 30 years later, tango music evolved and now it is not to be danced with, but it has come to the cafes and people used to just sit down and listen to this kind of tango, which is slow and sometimes more orchestras and bands will play and singers may also join. So this is the next stage of tango, which is Cafe 1930.
Thank you. 